Greetings everyone, my name is Ilya Karasyuk and it is my sheer pleasure to welcome you here at our exposition. It serves as a part of exhibition project by the Irbit State Museum of Fine Arts, which serves also as a prime example of an acquaintance process of most diverse Russian cities with masterpieces of, of an international importance. The pinnacle of our exhibition is the painting Pendant Mary Magdalene with her sister Martha, a masterpiece by Peter Paul Rubens, which was created between 1618 and 1620 with the help of his most distinguished apprentices, Jacob Jordens and Anthony van Dijk. And now let me give a word to my colleague Julia, who will give you a short historic overview of the creation of this painting. Up until 1917, this painting was kept at the famous Russian surgeon Alexander Jakobson. In 1931, this painting got sent to the State Hermitage. In St. Petersburg, the painting was considered to be the copy of Rubens' painting, despite the difference in details which was barely prevalent in the art of his contemporaries. Painting Mary Magdalene was sent for the storage farm for 45 years. In 1976, the painting, alongside the other artwork was sent to Irbit State Museum of Fine Arts. In 2012, the painting was sent for restoration. Having cleaned the face of Magdalene, specialists could see that below the multiple layers of dirty varnish, there was the genuine artwork of Rubens. When Rubens was painting the eyes, he applied the layer of red paint and then proceeded to use a different, thin and almost transparent layer. Thanks to this technique, everyone on the painting looked alike. Having studied the paints, the specialists confirmed that the painting came right from Meister's workshop in the 17th century. They could also establish that Anthony van Dijk and Jakob Jordans assisted in its creation. Nonetheless, a single painting, even as outstanding as this one, cannot give a full, comprehensive picture of Rubens' workmanship and the art of his time. Therefore, the main section of the exposition is composed of uh, printed graphic sheets. The central section consists of engravings of paintings of Rubens' art, created by his uh, apprentices in his workshop under the supervision of Maestra. This section also features a number of sheets inscribed after his death, testifying to the enduring importance of, of painter's art. Even though the black and white sheets of engravings may seem inferior to the colored paintings of Rubens, it is thanks to the spread across Europe that the artist has gained his prominence. The appeal of Rubens' engraving showed the full extent of his talent. Barely even familiar with the chisel, the master displayed a fine understanding of fine artistic language, and he fully appreciated the power of its impact and its importance on the social and cultural life at the time. We would like to thank the Irbit and Orenburg State Museums of Fine Art for this wonderful collaboration. We wish them all the best and even more great expositions to come in the future. Thank you.